Hi everyone, it's David here, Aura Shop. I guess one of the things that's uh, a big passion for me is this antenna performance and what they actually do. And um, I just thought I'll, I'll run through one of the um, pictures that you might often see on an antenna data sheet. So I'm specifically looking at the um, pointing 5G antenna, which is a big favorite of mine. Um, if you go to a section later in, you will see there's radiation patterns, um, which is that section there on the um, document itself. Now, of course, the, um, the detail in what they actually mean is something that is um, a, a whole discussion I could have, which I definitely want to have at some stage. But how do you actually get these radiation patterns? Um, so I went to Adelaide Uni yesterday for uh, a test on, on other products. Um, specifically in the video I was busy testing the zebra, the zebra antenna which is something we are working on. My first results I'll show at the end. Um, not bad for the first prototype. I've been um, doing some performance tests as well and I will show those later on as well. They work really well. Um, but basically what I just wanted to do is run through a test setup which is what we call an anechoic chamber. Um, and I want to tell you what, what we actually measure with the antenna. So um, have a look what I did. So I'm here today at Adelaide Uni doing some measurements. It's really a bit of fun and research work that, that I do, not as a sideline, it's really um, for customers and also for ourselves to educate ourselves with um, antenna performance compared to the CST simulations we actually do. Um, at the moment, I'm measuring Zebra, so that, that is our directional 2.4 gig antenna that we develop. It's a two-port antenna, so it can be used in a MIMO Wi-Fi configuration. Um, it is circular polarized as well, so you know it, it, it has a lot of applications. So once the chamber is open, I'll, I'll show you on the inside. Um, just on the outside, the basic setup that you have with a chamber. This um, this is just functionally what it does. Is there's a machine here called a vector network analyzer or a VNA. A VNA does um, S parameter measurements. Now S parameter in our RF world is the um, coupling matrix or coupling numbers. Um, so S21 means you try to see how much energy goes from port um, 1 to port 2 and that, that can be used like in this case we actually send the signal to the back of the chamber to an antenna and we try to see, well, we see how much energy comes back through the other port and I'll show you on the inside what it actually means so it, it makes more sense when you see the whole setup so when the measurement is done I'll show you the inside but what, what you see on the screen there though, this is my laptop so this is all work email which is not always fun but the <laughs> necessary evil that's it's building the pattern so this is the radiation pattern that you would get for an antenna if you ask for data sheet um, in a setup like this it basically builds the pattern so we have an antenna and it's basically slowly rotating and as it rotates we see how much energy is this antenna getting and then you rotate it further and that's how you build this picture okay so that's the inside of a chamber um, just a quick view so you could see um, you have anechoic or radar absorbing material um, as I go just quickly as this turns through um, I'll show you so that's the um, zebra antenna it's just homing back so it's going back to the um, to zero that antenna there is the um, antenna that we test so that's what we call the device under test that antenna gets rotated now it's just uh, basically we're just resetting the whole chamber so we can start set a, a new setup um, as it turns as it does there it would stop so that the, the, the chamber would turn the, the antenna it stops it takes a measurement so that antenna then gets a measurement like that there you go it's actually now at the um, zero point um, that antenna gets tested so we use the VNA to see let's send the signal through from I should have gone the other way that chamber there so there at the back you see there is a chain there's a there is a, a, an antenna, that's a horn antenna, it's a white band horn antenna that sends a signal, so signal comes here, so you see waves coming through travels all the way here, gets received there and by turning this one, so this antenna turns around as you, as you may say, you take a measurement, comes in, do a measurement turn a little bit, do another measurement, turn a little bit again, do another measurement that procedure which takes about three four up to five minutes because you go through all the steps builds your radiation pattern the radiation pattern is then what we use to understand where does this antenna work so in which direction did i get the most signal in the energy from that side to that side and what direction orientation of this antenna behind me did i get the least 
that builds your picture. And by knowing that of an antenna, you can design a system and you can use the antenna. So if we say we need a Yagi antenna that's directional, we know that in that forward direction, a specific direction, it works at its best. So I want that to face in the direction that I actually want to get some signal. Um, and then the other way around, if it faces away, to the back where you would get nothing with an omni antenna it's the same idea it's just then you look for something that as you turn it around in this chamber so in that way there you almost see the same every time so you turn you keep turning this thing and as you turn you see the same result while we use a radar absorbing material is you need to have a zero baseline so you have a chamber that takes out all reflections it takes out all the um the weird stuff that you get out there, so the real world stuff basically, ground reflections, building reflections, people moving cars, all that stuff, you take that away. Now you would, you could easily say, yeah, but this is not the way it's going to be out there. Whilst that's true, what you actually want to do in this case is, is have a reference. So here at Adelaide Uni where I'm measuring this antenna, I can tell somebody that's what this antenna does in a clean environment somebody in the US, somebody in Europe, somebody in Asia can do the same measurement. So we all talk the same language because if you want to only test antennas in a real life environment, there's so many variables. So basically in a chamber like this, you take out all the noise, all the variables, you just have a clean setup where you take that VNA that I showed there. So that's the um, vector network analyzer. It sends something, you see how much it picks up, that gets your complete picture. You have an antenna, you understand what you have and you can put it on a table and somebody from overseas can do the, do the same measurement on another antenna somewhere else side by side at least all know exactly what we can expect and then that example reference we can put in dirty air environments our reflections our real life environments and we all know what we should expect to see that's it for now on an echo chambers thanks Okay, so I finished my measurements at the Adelaide Uni. Um, I did more measurements than just that single antenna, but um, what I came out with is, is this one here. Um, not bad, I'm, I'm quite happy with it for a first, um, first pass on test results. Um, obviously we'll do some further refinements and I will let you know when that's finished as well, which is obviously, there's no specific outcome for that antenna yet. Um, we will do something, but it's more getting getting familiar with a few design ideas that we are playing with and, and getting our heads around um, some ideas. Hope you enjoy what we do and, and can support us in, in our endeavors to basically grow this channel and grow the, um, the knowledge base there is for 4G antennas and how that can actually really make a significant difference in what you can achieve with your 4G modems at home or on your vehicle or anywhere um, so please subscribe to our channel um, you're welcome to like us on facebook as well um, we have an instagram and twitter account so um, have a look at those but although the posts would be common across all of them um, but definitely youtube is the main aim for us so um, subscribe to our channel like what we do please and um, if you have any comments or any conversation you want to have through youtube which is public to everyone Feel free to make any remarks or comments. Um, we'll try to address those as soon as possible. Um, as more on a commercial space, visit our website, rfshop.com.au, where you will see the products that we have that are listed on the website. There's more to us than just that single one. Um, and also, further than that, um, give us a call, send us an email, and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.